Hey, happy Thursday, everybody. Mark again here at Weatherman Plus. Now, I'm going to give you your weather forecast for today, also for tomorrow. We have intense storms coming through, bringing tornadoes, hurricane force winds, very strong winds, and chances for very large hail as well. So if you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. I am all year long. Also, links in the description where you can follow me on other platforms. It's helpful to follow me, and it's helpful for others to share the information. Thank you so much for your time. Plus, we have a big flood threat that's going to be coming for the next couple of days, and it will grow for the next five to seven days. So let's get into your information. Now you can see for today's weather outlook that we have grown to enhanced section for today. You have chances for hail for today, even very large hail. You have the 5% in the brown, the 15 in the yellow. You have the 30 right here in the red, but significant severe in all of this black, at least two inches in diameter. So here's your cities and states at risk for the hail threat for today, and the large hail is a white line on top. You also have chances for damage and winds for today. You have the 5%, the 15%, you have the 30%, and this black section right here, significant and severe, means at least 75 miles per hour wind gusts. That's hurricane force winds, guys. So here's your cities and states at risk for the damage and winds for today, and the potential hurricane force winds is a white line on top. You even have a growing section for tornadoes. Not only the 2%, the 5%, but now you have a 10% right here for Colorado. But when you look at your cities and states at risk, you can see right here for the 10% that no major population center is in the risk area. So just remember that that is good information. Now you can see this when you look at your K index. The K index is chances for thunderstorms to grow based on your vertical temperature and your low level moisture. And you can see the darker the color, the, the bigger chance for your thunderstorms to grow. So for today, it's gonna to grow all afternoon long. It will be sporadic across other regions, but you can see the dark red where you have a best chance for the thunderstorms to grow and for tomorrow, this will continue again. And it's gonna train across the same areas in the south central also for the northern plains this will bring big chances for flooding as well and you see for tomorrow is bringing thunderstorms towards the east coast and this is going to bring chances for flash flooding also this will continue for the next five to seven days but you can see when you look at your cape your lift your potential energy and atmosphere that you have a lot of lift especially for southeastern wyoming going to colorado Panhandle of Texas and Western Kansas. That's where your biggest threat is going to be for tornadoes for today. But you can see the rest of the atmosphere is going all across the country from the south, all across the east, and you have lift all in the atmosphere from all these warm temperatures, and there is moisture in the atmosphere, so you do have chances for thunderstorms to grow. And then for tomorrow, it's going to move a little bit further to the east with all of that lift. But you can also see where your dew points, all this orange is all getting into the 70s and all you need is at least 55 or greater to get thunderstorms. So you have a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, a lot of strong dew points, a lot of particulates for today and it goes further towards the coast for tomorrow. A lot of chances for the thunderstorms to grow. But you can see all your temperatures for today. Now, I put it on heat index so you can see the worst case scenario, what it feels like temperature is going to be. So you do have some warmer temperatures for today across the south, the southeast going to the east coast. For tomorrow, it's going to build right back again and be stronger towards the east coast by the Carolinas and Georgia. So you have a lot of warm temperatures for today and tomorrow. Now, this isn't super hot as you've been having, but we do have warmer temperatures coming back with some strong heat indices. And you are gonna get multiple rounds of storms around the South Central and the Central Plains. So you have storms coming all morning long, but once you go to the afternoon, you start getting some little popcorn, little pop-up storms going all across the Southeast. It's not gonna be scattered severe storms. It is gonna be isolated in nature. But once you get into later tonight, then you get them popping up for Wyoming, for Colorado, for Kansas, and Nebraska and South Dakota. Now these have the best chance to produce a potential tornado for you. But remember National Weather Service says that over here for Southeastern Colorado, that is not a populated area. But this is a model run. So if these move a little bit further to the west or a little bit further to the north, it could be in someone's area. So just be aware of that. And it does go all even along and this is bringing chances for damage and winds overnight into the early morning hours. You can see the curvature right there, the bow went out in the storms at 7 a.m. by tomorrow morning. Then for tomorrow, these storms are going to brew right back up all along the east coast in the northeast, the southeast, and for the south central. And this is where you're going to have more severe weather popping up for tomorrow. But when you look at your significant tornado perimeters, it factors in wind shear 
and dew points. You see a strongest chance for a tornado today does pop up at three and four o'clock, and then it raises up to a great chance for a tornado as you go in later this evening from seven to nine o'clock for northeastern Colorado, southeastern Colorado, and western Kansas. And that carries real strong all the way to 10 and 11 o'clock. Start going into the Texas Panhandle a little bit and a little bit of western Nebraska. Overnight into the early morning hours. Strong chance for a tornado for today. But you can see these cells do get very strong in nature as you go later tonight. Overnight hours and into the early morning hours. Look at all the color on that cell right there. That is a lot of precipitation in there. A lot of thunderstorms brewing up. Definitely got chances for large hail with these as it goes overnight into the early morning hours. And then for tomorrow, it's going to come back after this goes all the way to Oklahoma, goes into Arkansas. You get some for the Dakotas as well. This comes right back. You get a lot of popcorn storms, a lot of isolated. But for tomorrow, it's going to be a lot of the same area just growing right back for Oklahoma and Kansas, and maybe some for Texas. And it is showing that it is bringing strong winds all the way up to a little over hurricane force winds, just like National Weather Service says, chances for 75 are greater. And then as you go into tomorrow, it's gonna to be more of the same story. Strong storms coming through all the way for tomorrow afternoon, with some nasty little banding coming across the panhandle of Texas going into Oklahoma as well. So all the way to midnight, you can see where your strong winds are. You have chances for 50, 60, even portions of 70 for Wyoming, a little bit of western South Dakota. But you have them going from southeastern Colorado into western Kansas. But the Panhandle of Texas and Oklahoma, you have some strong winds coming with y'all as well. And you can see how it goes overnight into the early morning hours, bringing chances for damage and winds with that as well. Plus, you have more storms that's going to brew up in the same areas for tomorrow bring some strong banning of hurricane force once again. And you can see the bow went out in that. This is going to be some strong storms moving through for tomorrow, and it's going to get New Mexico in on it. And we're definitely going to get some large hail. I think we'll get some very large hail for today and for tomorrow. So you can see when you look at the updraft helicity, it lets you know when you have a lot of updraft, a lot of strong storms, keep pulling all this moisture up, building up the size of the hail that you get a lot of chances for strong hail for today. All the way to 8 p.m., you have a lot of marks for a lot of chances for hail. But look at the chances for the hail as you go late tonight into the early morning hours. Very much a good chance for hail, even a chance for a tornado with these strengthening cells. That is off the charts. That is going to be some very large hail in eastern Colorado, across Kansas, western Kansas, and north to northwestern Oklahoma as well, Wyoming, Nebraska, y'all getting in on this as well. And then for tomorrow, it's going to pop right back up. Just not as strong as today for this hail. That looks pretty serious. But you can see lightning strikes with the Euro. This is an updated model run. This is a 6Z this morning. You only see the next four days with it. That later on tonight is where this large hail is going to kick in. You can see with the lightning strikes, as you go early morning hours, you get a lot of white in there. That's indicative to a lot of lightning strikes. It's a lot of strong updraft, a strengthening cell, chances for large hail. Then early in the morning, the whole area has a lot of lightning strikes and chances for large hail. You can also see that it will come in for Friday afternoon as well as these storms brew up Friday evening, bringing a lot of chances for large hail as well. So I think we will see chances for large hail for tomorrow as well. So you can see your weather outlook for tomorrow. Right now, it's a slight risk. I believe this will be enhanced up also. Now, you have a bigger tornado chance for tomorrow with all them bandings coming down that I just showed you with the Euro model. You have a big 2% chance for tornadoes. This is your cities and states at risk for Friday for tomorrow for tornadoes. Also, the same area has chances for wind and hail. So here's your cities and states at risk for the wind and hail. I will update you first thing in the morning. Plus, your weather outlook for a Saturday has a big slight risk with this as well. So here's your season states at risk for the severe weather for Saturday. Once again, I will update this first thing in the morning. So as you look at updated drought monitor with National Weather Service, you do have severe drought and some of this orange going around the U.S. But your extreme drought and your exceptional drought, you have some for southern Texas. But if you look right here for Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas, Nebraska, even southern South Dakota, Y'all going to be in the extreme drought and exceptional drought that we have right now. Now, this is right where we have some rainfall coming. So this will be beneficial rain for y'all, but this will cause flash flooding because you're so dry. So when you look at all the precipitation coming according to the National Weather Service model just in the next three days, a big hot spot over Kansas and Oklahoma 
going to Missouri, going into Arkansas, and eventually going into other places as we go through the next few days. Also for southern Florida and southern Texas, Louisiana and Mississippi also getting in on some heavy rainfall. So here's your rainfall rates as you go into later tonight and as we go into tomorrow and Saturday. It's just going to build and build with a big hot spot of over four inches right there for Kansas and going into Oklahoma. A lot of chances for flash flooding. Just be aware of this. There's a lot of rainfall coming. I know a lot of y'all need rainfall, but too much at one time when you've been in a serious drought will cause flash flooding. Also for the east side of the U.S. all the way to midnight tonight, this is a little bit of rainfall that people is going to be getting out of it. But as this storm continues to grow and goes to the east, you can see where the rainfall rates are going to start to grow. And it is going to go worse than this as we go to the next five to seven days. And you can also see this with the euro as we go to the next seven days all the way till midnight next Thursday. You can see the big heavy rainfall that's going to be falling. A lot of y'all do need it, but this is going to create some more flash flooding. We see how a lot of people are going to be in the heavy rainfall also along the east coast and the northeast and you can see the rates you got one to two inches as you go from that yellow gold towards that red but once you get that darker colors like over here towards the brown you start going from two inches plus and so far the heaviest is seven inches right here for kansas and oklahoma a lot of rainfall coming in the next seven days but it is going all across the south the tennessee kentucky valley a lot of people are going to be getting some rainfall coming. So this is going to help out with your drought as well. And you get it across the southeast as well, but you see it's a little bit lighter. It's more like along the coast edges. But look up here for the northeast. You're going to get anywhere from two to four inches. Four inches is a hot spot for eastern Virginia, southern Maryland for the heaviest rainfall for y'all. But a lot of people getting a lot of rainfall just within the next seven days. So naturally, this will bring you a flash flooding. So there is marginal, but you have a slight risk in few areas that's going to be growing as we go through this week. This is for today. For tomorrow, it's going to grow some for the northeast, but the same areas for the south central and central plains. As we go through Saturday, it's going to grow towards the Tennessee, Kentucky Valley, the lower Ohio Valley. As you go through Sunday, it's going to grow more for the northeast and more for the south. Then as you go through Monday, it's going to go even further south. So there will be flash flooding for the next few days. Plus, as we go through Saturday, your heat indices are going to start growing once again for the south and the southeast. As you go through Sunday, it's going to come back again, go all the way to the Carolinas. As you go through Monday, more heat indices building in the south and the southeast. As you go through Tuesday, it's going to be there and start growing into the central plains. As you go through Wednesday, it's going to be there as well. But we got that cold front coming, so it's going to start suppressing it after this. But all week long for the next seven days, you have more strong heat indices coming to the south, the southwest, and the southeast. But most of all, thank you all for your time today. God bless you and your families with all these storms. Hope you get prepared for it. That way you'll be okay. You know what's coming, and it'll be the best case scenario, the best outcome for you because you are prepared for it. John 16, 32, and 33. This is Jesus speaking. Behold, the hour cometh, yes, is now come, that ye shall be scattered, every man to his own, and shall leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Amen. Have a great day, everybody. I will update you first thing in the morning on tomorrow's storms as well. Those like those are going to start being strong, a bigger chance for tornadoes. Also, I appreciate every single one of you. And remember, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And he will always keep you safe. And he says, even though you have tribulations in the world, have peace in your heart, for he has overcome the world. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Have a great day. Everybody.